What is going on guys and welcome back to another drum boat to bass boat conversion video So in this video, I'm gonna start it off with throwing some rods in the rod locker just to see how it looks It's gonna look sick, but we got some bass rods here some walleye rods some live bait rods We even got the monster cat catfish rod the ultralight trout rod and we even got Dominique's rod So I'm gonna shove all these rods into the rod locker for the very first time just to see how it looks just for fun So uh, let's get started Check out that catfish. Are you freaking <laughs> All right, so I built this rod locker to be eight foot, five inches. That is the biggest rod I can shove in this tube safely. The tubes do keep going, and I think the top tubes end about right here. So you don't want to shove a rod in there without a sleeve or else the tip may get caught on that PVC pipe. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I foamed it all off. I'm a genius. So actually, it won't hit. So uh, yeah, never mind. Scratch that. But the longest rod I think I have out here right now is this Battle Cat. It is seven foot six. So yeah, let's uh, start shoving all these rods in. Dude, look at this array of fishing poles. Freaking killer, man. Okuma, man. They make some pretty stuff. All right, we're gonna start with the Battle Cat from Okuma. By the way, guys, all these are Okuma. I'll go through and tell each name and what they are. All right, the Battle Cat catfish rod is going in first. That is a big reel too, guys, so. First rod going in. But here's one thing. The Trout Rod and Dominique's rod won't fit because they're too short. This is a trout rod, SSD trout rod. Ooh, it might actually be long enough. It might have to go in the tube. Let me loosen that up real quick. Dude, I miss trout fishing. Normally in winter, I hate it. I get over it real quick. But now that it's not trout season, I actually miss it. So this rod is actually the exact length. It goes in like one inch on each side. So I can probably shove this in and leave it like right there and it shouldn't get in the way of anything. Same with Dominique's rod. So here is Dominique's rod, just a little mini pole that Dominique lost in the lake and probably a few months later, I pulled it up. So, still have it, but this is Dominique's rod, man. Keeping Dominique's legend alive. So this will also just probably go down in here and then all the other poles will be over it. Just backup rods. The trout rod is obviously for winter, but it never hurts to keep a ultralight on the boat. You never know. Next up, we have the two Samar bait feeders. I'm gonna throw those on bottom, but honestly, they will probably be on top because I do a whole lot of live bait fishing. Let's see, will it fit? That's a lot of, uh... oh, maybe it can flip over this way now. Oh yeah. We're definitely gonna have to manage because these three reels right here are pretty big. The ones going on bottom are pretty big, but we can make it work. Here is another Seymour from Okuma. This is really awkward getting it in the hole way down there with my hand way over here. There we go. All right, number three in. Well, actually number five, but we use the third tube. All right, Dead Eye Custom Walleye Rod. And then here is the last spinning rod, the ITX on the Okuma Psycho Stick. Going in, this is my drop shot rod. Show that right there, freaking beautiful. Next up, the Okuma Guide Select Cranking Rod with the Okuma Helios SX. Super clean, freaking reel, man. Love this reel. This may just be what type of fishing poles I use and what not oh this is my crankbait rod it has a jig on there right now because i was doing some experimenting but this is for crankbaiting big crankbaits helios xs next up we got the serranos combo this is my top water jerkbait underspin rod next up we got the okuma suros this is my punching rig Freaking love this rod and reel, all black, looks super sexy. Going in. 
and once again guys every time i put a rod in this rod locker it's going to have a sleeve on it i just don't have them right now because they've been in my truck and i've been using them so well not lately but you know what i mean and last up the okuma hakai the bad boy this real man freaking amazing best real on the market seriously and that is on the psycho stick rod as well let's go ahead and toss that in boom all right so there is nine ten eleven rods in the rod locker and we still have plenty of room too and then even down here it's two inch tubing so again with sleeves on we could probably shove three rods in one hole if we had to that's pushing it we don't have to we have nine rods nine poles is plenty maybe i mean some people have 20 a lot but yeah if i want to i could shove more in there i could shove more in on the floor i have another trout rod i could throw in there i even have some ultralight rods oh let me go grab it let me go grab one more rod two more rods three more rods all right so we just got four more rods and like i said i already have all the sleeves for all these rods i just need to throw them on every time they come in this locker they will be on and i might go ahead and get some uh real covers as well we'll see i'm not sure but i would hate for all that to just get scratched up bouncing around in the rod locker but uh yeah let's keep going so i do have one more battle cat here which is the bigger rods the big boys this battle cat has the okuma cold water reel this thing is so freaking sick got the death counter on there freaking amazing man this is kind of heavy i should probably throw this on bottom so we'll pass up on this one guys i have yet to show these battle cats in my videos just because i don't do that much catfishing i do want to start we have a lot of catfish in our lake small ones but uh i, I want to go out there one day and at least try for just catfish all day long just catfish and see what happens i have the rods for it we got two battle cats just waiting to be used so here is another SST trout rod with the Okuma Epixer reel that can go in. This one's actually a foot longer than the last trout rod. So this one will probably fit in the tubes. All right, 12 poles in. I need to take them out and then re-put them back in in order to make them all fit right. But look at this freaking cluster of rods, dude. That is so sick. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go to Amazon, order some uh, reel covers. Just because these are some pretty nice reels. I don't want them scratched up. I know it's a fishing pole, but you can still keep fishing and stuff. Nice. Dang it. That's how they last. Dang it. Dang it. Two more, baby. Here's an example of shoving multiple rods in one tube. This will be a lot easier, too, whenever the uh, all the sleeves are on. This is the two Okuma Cilios rods with the Samar bait feeders. What's on this one? That's not a bait feeder. That is, oh, that's the Avenger bait feeder. This is the Samar bait feeder. Got that blade bait on there, baby. We're about to be using that thing again. It's about to get cold and this thing's gonna come out. But here is shoving three rods in one tube, which I don't have to do, but I'm just showing y'all you can. And this is even two rods without sleeves on there. So tips and all pointing out. Three rods in that one tube and there's still room. Like I said, that's probably pushing it, but it is doable. All right, so there is 14 rods in the rod locker. Easy. It could easily put more. I could fit that one in too, the big one, if I just put them on bottom and organize it better. But the real thing that takes up space is the reels. I mean, if you wanted to take them off, there's some people that do. I was told from Gary Dobbins that people over in Asia, they take very good care of their fishing gear. They take every single reel off. And that's every single time they go fishing. They take all the reels off, pack them up nice and neat. They definitely take care of their stuff. And that makes me feel a little bit better about wanting some reel covers. Also guys, if y'all need any rods or reels, okumafishingusa.com. Those guys treat me pretty good over there and they will do the same for you. So go check them out. But man, this looks freaking awesome, dude. Look at all them rods. Fifteen rods. I can't even imagine carrying fifteen rods. I've never carried fifteen rods before. And we easily can in this little fourteen foot John boat. Thanks to this rod locker. Can you believe I wasn't gonna add one of these at first? 
It wasn't a necessity to me, but now it is. I, I see the value in these rod lockers. They're sick. The first build didn't have one. Man, what was I thinking? Like I said, my first a real build, I guess. So I'm learning a lot. At first I was like, okay, so I'll bring seven rods. My passenger will have two rods, but no, we could easily fit his two rods in here too. I can bring whatever rods I want and still fit his. That's freaking cool. I don't want to take this out. This looks freaking sick. <laughs> but we're going to. It's going to get freaking messy. We're not done with this build just yet. Hey guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. This rod locker is going to be freaking sick, dude. I'm so stoked I put it in the boat. It was a good choice. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Ah!